what's happening it's your boy C dub and I'm back with another video and today I want to talk to you guys about electrolytes and fasting and I'm gonna do it right after this what is happening my name is C dub and if it's your first time clicking on this channel I lost 125 pounds eating just one meal a day and I created this channel to help you with tips and tricks and share some of my knowledge from my journey with you. And for those people that are already weight loss warriors and have subscribed to this channel, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for your support from the bottom of my heart. And we have an important topic today because we hear the term electrolytes all the time when talking about fasting. And there is some confusion as to what an electrolyte is and how it relates to fasting. And some of that is because of different diets and some diets need it more than others and there's all kinds of little stuff. So I figured we would break down what an electrolyte is. So what an electrolyte is, it's a charged mineral. That's what it is. And they come in three different ways. Magnesium, potassium, and sodium. Now, there is some talk that calcium should be included, but for the time being, we're going to just talk about the, the, the three main things. So these are all minerals that your body needs to obviously live and, and exist and, and feel good and do all of those kind of things. And so when you don't have enough of that, your body starts to react and let you know. But when you're drinking a lot of water and you're not eating these minerals, what can happen is your body washes its electrolytes out and then you end up in a deficient state. And so this can be a problem with fasting. But before we break into the symptoms, before we break into some of the science behind how you feel and all of that, it's very important to know a few things. It's 16 and 8 protocol, meaning that you're eating for 8 hours of the day and fasting for 16. Your electrolytes most likely are going to be fine. You've spread out your eating enough, you've eaten enough during the day, you haven't fasted too long to deplete them, and you're probably okay. Now you can over drink water and you can put yourself in a little bit of a hairy situation there, but most likely you're fine. And when we start creeping more towards the OMAD side of things, where we're only eating one time, now you can get yourself into a little bit of electrolyte wiggle room there and then if you go beyond 24 you definitely can't so pro prolonged fasting has issues with electrolytes and and can be a problematic also so when we're really talking about it though what a lot of people don't understand and what a lot of people fail in this aspect is they don't understand that the electrolyte imbalance happens more to people on the keto diet than people that are not on the keto diet when you are on the keto diet, your body washes water out much easier. People that are on keto do not retain as much water as people that eat carbohydrates because the carbohydrates require water. So that is one of the reasons why anyone that gets off of keto immediately gains a lot of weight. Or if they have a cheat weekend, their weight comes up because their body starts to hold those fluids. Because your body's washing fluids much faster on keto, your chances of going with a lack of electrolytes is much higher than somebody that's not. So if you are doing a 16 and 8 and you're having a standard diet, your chances of running low on electrolytes are, are pretty much nil. But if you are going to go into an OMAD, you could get there with carbs, but I don't think so. And if you're not eating carbs, you may very well get yourself into an electrolyte balance. So with all of that information out of the way, let's talk about some of the reasons or the, the feelings you will have if you're running into an electrolyte problem. So some of these symptoms are fatigue, constipation, mood spasms, breathing, hard trouble breathing, depression, confusion, lack of sleep, lack of strength, headaches, cramping, and you can also have high blood pressure. So those are just some of the symptoms that can come with having an electrolyte uh, imbalance. And so you've got to understand, first and foremost, I want to say that if I'm not a medical professional, and if you're having issues in your fast, you should always see a doctor and not just take it for my word. But a lot of times when you get into a fast, 
headaches is the one that comes to mind the most with people with electrolyte balances. Your body is going to tell you first. Your body is going to say, this isn't right, something's wrong, my head's not right, and then you're able to make whatever adjustments you need to make. So once you see one of these symptoms creeping in and you feel like you're just not yourself and you feel like it could be an electrolyte situation, you can treat that by doing something about it. So I've told you guys in the past, smart water puts minerals in it so that you can avoid this situation. So smart water is always an option, but if you don't want to go that route, there are other options. How you can make it better is pink Himalayan salt. And so if you add that into your water, it has all of the minerals that you need to get your electrolytes back into the right balance. And it'll make you feel almost instantly better. So you can either do it pre you know the headaches or pre any of these symptoms so you can take it right off the bat and just say forget it I'm gonna add it every time I drink water and I'm gonna be golden or you can kinda of do it as the symptoms hop in either way however you wanna handle it I think it's always best to get it going beforehand so you don't have to worry about it especially if you've been prone to these symptoms in the past while fasting but with all that said I wanna make sure you guys have the kinda of idea of the right ratio you need to have one teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt for every liter you're drinking. And that will fix your electrolyte issues. You won't have them in the future. Another thing you can do is eat leafy greens. Leafy greens have lots of minerals. So if you're eating them in your fasting window, especially if you're on keto, and I know the keto people will say greens have carbs and stay away from them, but you might want to add the greens in as the 20% carb you can have to balance that situation out and just make sure that you have all the proper minerals that you need to get your body going. Remember that each one of us is going to be different and each situation is going to be different but if you just take some little teeny steps to make sure that your electrolytes, uh, electrolytes don't fall out of balance the end result is you're going to be you feel better on your fast you're going to do better on your fast and it's going to whether it's short term like a 16 hour or whether it's long term like a week you need to have your electrolytes working in the right direction and a lot of that will take care of itself but if you're worried about it I've given you everything you need to know so I appreciate the support make sure you guys have turned on that ring notification if you've already subscribed and if you haven't subscribed look at my face it's right there go ahead and click on it and subscribe to this channel so that I can continue to grow stay on my videos you know they're popping up everywhere click on one of them and watch it I appreciate each and every one of you I'll talk to you on the next one Peace.